Hey there. I've had a lot of people sending me messages asking about the case they've seen on Sophie uh, over the last month or so. This is the GV Trekker Dolomiti DLM30. It's a 30 liter top case. Um, I put it on probably about six weeks ago. So since I've been getting so many questions, I thought today I'd go ahead and do a quick video to talk a little bit about the case itself and also how I mounted it onto the Fat Bob, despite being told by several people that I couldn't mount it. Here's a pro tip for you. Never tell a Persian he can't do something. We'll figure it out. One of the things that I've been struggling with on the bike for some time has been a way to get fixed secure storage on the bike. Something that would enable me to lock stuff up if I wanted to go in and get a cup of coffee or go see a movie or go shopping or whatever. Eventually I came across GV and the equipment that they make to put on sport and adventure bikes. Um, I did find uh, they had several of options there and I kind of locked in on this 30 liter case Although if I would have gone with a 40, I could have had enough room to put a full-faced helmet, but I didn't think that looked good on the bike. So I just went with the 30. I want to show you that real quick um, before I get into how it's secured on the bike. Just show you the inside of the case. So we've got 30 liters of storage inside. There's a net. This is an additional accessory. It doesn't come with the, uh, with the case itself. So you can like bungee stuff up there. Uh, I just got my helmet lock up here. This thing is really nice for my daily commuting. It will easily hold my EDC bag that has my 15 inch MacBook Pro as well as my 12 inch or 12 and a half inch, whatever it is, um, iPad Pro and gives me plenty of room left over. So if I want to put in my, like my DJI Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal, got that, lunch, whatever else. There's plenty of storage in here. Close it, lock it, and I'm good to go. Uh, the other feature of this case is that it has these nylon tie downs on top. So if you want to um, either use like rock straps or maybe um, a bungee net, you can put, like I sometimes put my rain jacket up top and I'll just bungee that to the top of the case. But it's uh, metal. It, they, don't, they say that it's not weatherproof. However, it is sealed. So you've got grooves in around here, this nice rubber gasket, and then a tongue that goes into those grooves along the perimeter here. Um, I've put water on it. I haven't been out in the rain with it, but, um, or haven't gotten caught in the rain with it, but I have uh, taken the water hose and kind of hosed it down and no water got into the case whatsoever. So from a weather standpoint, this seems like a really good solution and I'm very happy with it. Right now it's uh, secured to the bike. And this was one of those features that I really wanted to make sure I had in a solution was something I could get on and off the bike easily and quickly. All you have to do is with the key in here and it unlocked, just push that and then the case lifts right off. That's the, uh, that's the mounting plate that I use to put it on. And then slide it back in, tongue and grooves here. Push it down, lock it, and it's on. It's not going to come off. So that's a look at the case itself. Uh, very high quality. The rivets are really well done. Very pleased with the case. The problem that I had, um, I went back and forth with this case, actually with several cases. I would say for about two weeks, uh, contacted a lot of folks. I wanted a way to mount this really on the hold fast system that I have from Harley. I didn't want to have to permanently mount something to the bike because there's sometimes I just like to ride without anything on it. I even contacted GV's office here in the US 
had them look at the sissy bar that I had, uh, some other options, and they said that I wouldn't be able to mount this on the, the bike. So I had to prove them wrong. Now, right now I have this mounted on the two up sport removable rack. It's part of the hold fast system. That rack itself can be locked to the bike. So I'm gonna take this off real quick and we'll talk a little bit about how I have this mounted. This is the universal mounting plate that GV has um, for putting this on sport bikes or adventure bikes. It's not bike specific. And as you can see, I've got it on the two up luggage rack here, pushed as far forward as I can get it. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Cannot use this on the uh, sissy bar for, from the hold fast system. And I'll throw up a picture here, but as you can see, there's two, uh, two problems. One, you can't get the plate far enough back to get what I would consider safe support for the plate and the case itself, and then you also can't um, actually mount the case through the little tongue and groove connections that they have here because you can't get it forward enough due to the angle of the, the sissy bar. So once I saw that I wasn't gonna be able to, to make this work on the sissy bar that I had, I got the two up luggage rack. Although there was a problem with that as well. The curve of the tubes on the rack prevent the plate from going far enough forward to get enough of a contact patch where I felt that there was adequate support for the case. So after looking at both the plate and the rack, it seemed to me it'd be pretty simple to take my Dremel and cut some channels out over those tubes. Uh, so that I could slide this further forward um, and I was able to pick up about another half inch to three quarters inches and that gave me enough of a contact uh, patch for the plate so that it would support the box. The plate itself secures on to the, the tubular rack pretty straightforward. All you do is drop the four bolts they provide down through the top of the, uh, the mounting plate then put on these brackets you see here in a manner that it will, will clamp on to the tubes, then take the locking nuts and then tighten everything down. Once you get that done, I just simply put the hold fast system back on the bike and then, as I showed you before, it's pretty straightforward to put this on. Overall, I'm really impressed with the case and it's really changed the way I do just kind of like local travel even on the weekends here because instead of having to carry my tank bag with my camera gear and everything in it, I can just throw it into the Dolomiti 30 and I'm good to go. Um, I have no, no problems dropping it off running to Starbucks. Uh, it's just really made traveling a lot easier and it helps me get over my jealousy of my bagger bros that I had when I was at the Midwest Moto Meetup and everybody was hopping off their bikes to go get something to drink and here I am left behind taking all my crap off and trying to figure out how to carry my pack and everything else and all my gear inside the bar with me. So this has really been a big improvement and allowed me to uh, be more relaxed when I travel. So that's it, that's the GV Trekker DLM30 Dolomiti 30 liter top case. I like it. I think it looks pretty damn good on the 2019 Fat Bob. What do you think? I know it sure has made my traveling a lot more pleasurable. I don't have to worry about securing all my stuff anymore when I get off the bike to run in somewhere. Check it out, the rain's gone, the sun's out. I think I'm gonna head out for a ride. You guys take care, have a good one, peace.